What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Wondershare Dr. Phone in order to downgrade from iOS 26 all the way back to iOS 18, which happens to still be signed. So if you don't like the iOS 18 and how it looks and how it works, then you can go ahead and go back to iOS 18.6.1, which is a very stable version for iOS 18.6, both of which are signed at the moment. So you don't have to stick to the beta until the iOS 26 is finalized and fully released and you know it's bug free. So if you want to go back, you can use this tool, Dr. Phone System Repair, which supports both iOS 26 and of course iOS 18, and it works on all devices. This is one of the best solutions for fixing devices that are stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, if you want to downgrade, you want to enter or exit recovery mode. It can fix a variety of issues, including iPhone is disabled, but we're going to use this in order to downgrade today. And as you can see, this is my device over here. It's running iOS 26, and as you can see, there is even an update available for my device. But yeah, I want to downgrade from iOS 26 developer beta back to iOS 18 because I think this one is quite buggy. So let's see how we can do that. We open the program over here and as you can see, we have a couple of options. In order to downgrade, you go here to system repair and in here, it will open another tool called Dr. Phone System Repair that will handle the rest for you. If you get this, you want to press allow over here so that it can properly detect the device. And once it starts, it looks like this. So it says iOS repair or iOS upgrade and downgrade, which is exactly what we need. So I'm going to go here to iOS upgrade and downgrade. And then we have downgrade iOS over here. I'm going to click over here and this one will connect to the device and it will detect what kind of device it is. And it says, please keep the USB connection. It says downgrading will erase all data. And unfortunately, this is true. If you're going back to iOS 18, all of your data will be erased because if you upgrade to a new iOS version, the data will be carried over most of the time. But downgrading is a different story. Some of the data might get corrupted. So what I would recommend you to do is to do a backup first. So I'm going to go ahead in here and press continue. And I can see the available iOS versions that I can downgrade to. These are currently signed iOS 18.6.1 or 18.6. I'm going to download the 18.6.1 and this one will begin the process. You don't have to have an IPA file pre-downloaded. You don't have to have any other files. This will download everything it needs for your particular device. In my case, an iPhone 11. And once it finishes downloading, it will automatically continue. You just have to keep your device plugged into the computer. All right. So now it has completely downloaded the firmware it had to download. So I'm going to press repeat pair now over here with the device plugged in. I want to enter recovery mode like it does over here. And now we can finally go ahead and install iOS 18 back again on this iOS 26 device. And now it says downgrading. And this one will take a while, about 10 minutes for it to complete. So at this point, you don't have to do anything. Just wait. All right. So after a while, we can see that the downgrade says it was completed. And now the device is on the setup screen. And we can set up the device. I'm going to skip all of these in here. Don't share. Continue over here. Not Siri. And we can swipe up. And as you can see, we're now on iOS 18. That's how you downgrade using the Wondershare Dr. Phone System Repair. Now, the software is available as a free trial. So you can definitely check it out down below for both Windows and Mac OS. And it can also fix a variety of issues, including the device being frozen, not turning on, and of course, other update related issues. Thank you for watching. I'm GS now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.